Now, either my dog is really interested in the latest Brexit negotiations, or she's interested in this, which is the latest tiny portable projector from Artley. Let's find out which one it is. So my friends, this is the tiny new portable projector by Artley. It really is a projector that you can take absolutely anywhere. Now, this will never replace your main projector in your home if you have one, but this can be used for a multiple range of uses. Now, inside the box, you get a comprehensive instruction manual, a nice velvety carry case, some other paperwork which I didn't bother reading, the projector itself, and a handy tripod. Now, I've got some more good news for you guys. This projector could be yours because I'm going to be giving it away. I'll give you more information throughout this video of how you can win this projector. It's very, very straightforward and simple. I'm certainly not going to ask you to jump through hoops. In fact, you don't even need to leave this page, my friends. Okay, so this type of projector is great for a number of different uses, really. You can cast from your phone, so your iOS device or your Android device. It supports AirPlay and Miracast. So therefore, if you are out and about and you just want to show something on your phone, what a great way, for instance, to show photographs. But it's got those connections on the back, so you can hook it up. And in a moment, I'll show you it hooked up to my NVIDIA Shield. Okay, so there's going to be three things that you need to do in order to win this. The first one of those is going to be give this video a thumbs up. Right, let's look at some of the specs now. The weight of this thing is just 0.9 kilograms. The size is 11 centimeters by 9.8 by 3.8, and it has a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. It also has ANSI lumens of 50, and its native resolution is 854 by 480. So this is not quite HD, but still it gives a very good picture from quite close. Now, the price of this thing in the UK is £164, and in the US is $199. So my friends, you're going to be getting something if you win, which is pretty valuable. Now, the mistake that I think a lot of people make with this type of projector is they just try to get too much out of it, which is not possible. Now, here I've got it a few feet away from the wall, and it's giving me a really pin-sharp image. Now, this here is around about 25-inch screen. If I move it back, then I'm now up to around 32-inch screen, now going to around about 42-inch screen, and as you can see, it's still giving a really bright, very sharp image. As you can see, my dog also is absolutely in love, I think, with Hilary Benn. That's the guy there. Right, so once you go past this, then you do start to notice that the picture will start deteriorating. But, you know, again, we're looking at not much money for a quite a big screen. Here it's around 50 inches now, maybe even slightly higher. Now, in daylight, this thing doesn't work really at all. This is it with the blinds down as I do the blinds up. So, you know, you can see it, but it really is quite poor. So I wouldn't recommend using it in a light room. Okay, the second thing that you need to do if you want to win this projector is just name your favorite movie. Leave a comment in the comments box with what your favorite movie is. Okay, another feature which I like on this projector is got horizontal correction. So if you go into that and select it, providing the projector is on a flat surface, it will automatically correct the screen. As you can see, it just did it. And that is a very good feature for a projector at this price point. I'm gonna be showing you more about the menu options in just one second. But as you can see here, it's delivering a pretty good image. And again, this is probably around 27 inches. Again, I don't want to mislead you into thinking that this will give you a 100 inch image and it will be brilliant because guys, you need to really keep it up to around 50 inches for it order, in order for it to be the best screen possible. Another feature which I really like is the fact that it's got decent volume. It's actually got a three watt speaker, so that reaches plenty loud enough levels in order for you to be watching it. Listen to this. It comes very well packaged in a superb box. It's got expensive accessories. Like, look at this HDMI cable. When do you ever see an HDMI? There's also no noticeable deterioration in the image when you take the USB cable out. So if I remove that now, with a lot of these portable projectors, they do actually darken because they're not getting the power. This stayed exactly the same. Another thing if you want with this, you can just literally put it straight up onto the ceiling and project the image up there. Ideal for a bedroom. I don't want to know what you're watching. Ideal for a bedroom, though. 
Now the team at Artly have also put together a really good menu system. You can go in and change the brightness mode to energy saving. You can even go and change that brightness yourself to whatever percentage you prefer. And as you can see, you can change the projection mode to front projection, rear projection or ceiling mounted. There is auto keystone connection, as I mentioned earlier, and there's that horizontal connection feature. In the advanced mode, you can go in and change things like the language, the boot source. So for instance, if you want it booting straight to HDMI, you can do that. You can even set things like sleep timers. There's also online updates and local updates that you can perform. Now, many people will want to cast from their phone or tablet. Miracast is for Android, iOS cast is for iPhone or iPad and all you need to do is to go into that and then select screen mirroring from your iOS device and you'll see ZY cast appear. Once you've done that you can connect relatively quickly and then you can operate it as normal. Now do bear in mind that certain apps don't allow AirPlay for instance Netflix and Amazon Prime but other than that it works great. So my friends, this is a brilliant projector. I'll leave full links in the description of where you can check it out for yourself. But if you want to win this particular one, then you need to do one, two, three things. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment in the comment box of what is your favorite movie. And you could be like my dog, staring at this great screen. Thanks for watching this video as always, my friends, and I will see you on the next one.